my name is Jeremy. Um, I'm a software developer, full stack uh, developer, and I've been working with uh, WordPress for the last uh, four, five years. And um, it's been a great experience so far. Today we are talking about WooCommerce. And who's ever uh, worked with WooCommerce here? Yeah? How many? Let me see by a show of hands. Ah, great. We have quite a number, yeah? And um, someone tell me, what, 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 what do you visualize when, uh, wh or rather, when someone is telling you, or rather when someone is asking you, what is WooCommerce, uh, without even reading this? Uh, someone tell me, with the people who that, that's if uh, you've interacted with it. Tell me, what, what do you think about uh, WooCommerce? Ah, great stuff. Real time. That, that's the word I was looking for, actually. Real time. So you, you're able to see your transactions in real time. That's the good thing about WooCommerce. So someone tell me, what is WooCommerce? Without even reading this. I, I don't want us to, uh, to even get into this today. Perfect. So WooCommerce is basically a um, plugin f that was built uh, into WordPress uh, to, so that you can be able to manage uh, and e build uh, beautiful e-commerce stores, manage them, and be able to see your transactions in real time. Yeah? And... Um, Basically, when, when we're thinking about WooCommerce, we, we want to be able to come up with a, with a system where we can, you know, uh, how do I put it? We want to come up with a system where we're able to transact with, uh, we want to build beautiful shops. I mean, uh, someone give me, a, uh, with the people who've worked with uh, WooCommerce, Tell me some of the stores that uh, you've built by yourselves or that you run. Good stuff. And how is that going? Yeah. How is that going so far? So far so good. Uh, how many years? Uh, six years? Six years. Good stuff. Good stuff. So, yeah. So, basically, that's what uh, WooCommerce uh, enables us to do. We're able to build uh, beautiful e-commerce sites that uh, are pleasing to our customers and uh, come up with, uh, you know, um, we come up with a way that we can be able to, you know, just come up with a structure or kind of sorts. Oh, we can be able to manage our transactions. So yeah, um, just back to So yeah, so um, some of the factors that uh, go into uh, you know building an e-commerce store, uh, we have to have a, a, a proper budget. I mean, we don't want to come up with a store that our customers won't uh, come and. Uh, we wouldn't visit eventually because why would you be building a store on the internet? I mean, you can just set up shop outside here at uh, British Council and, you know, sell, right? But you want to come up with a, a store. So you, uh, when you're coming up with, a, with an e-commerce store, you, sh you should basically put into context that what, what's at stake financially? Uh, if all factors are kept constant, what, what basically, like, say, uh, I, w I have 100,000 shillings. I want to build an e-commerce store. So should I contact a developer? Should I con contact uh, who? Uh, should I build it myself? Should I learn? ETC, ETC. So the next thing, you want to come up with a platform that is easy for your clients to use. Yeah? Uh, it should be simple to use, and it, basically, it, even a nursery school kid, I mean, 
all our, uh, I mean, fathers, yeah? <laughs> we have most of our people coming, uh, our kids are basically even buying stuff online. Yeah? True? Maybe by mistake, though. <laughs> yeah? But they, they can find themselves, you know, just uh, like, like funny enough, my small sister, she's about four, four years, yeah? The other day she purchased something on my Amazon Prime and I was wondering, okay, this, this transaction. Anyway, that's a story for another day. <laughs> so the third thing that uh, you should put into context is the payment methods. Uh, the e-commerce platform that you choose ha should have enough payment methods uh, so that when, you ca when your customers are transacting, they have a, a variety of options to choose from. And this includes uh, the likes of PayPal, the likes of Stripe, although it's not available in Kenya, uh, the likes of uh, M-Pesa, the likes of Visa, MasterCard, ETC, ETC, yeah? And the e-commerce platform you should, uh, you should, cons uh, uh, should also uh, be able to incorporate a lot of uh, interactions, ah, integrations, sorry. Uh, the number of services and the, and, and the third party tools that you can integrate to grow your business should uh, be encompassed in your uh, choice of uh, an e-commerce uh, platform. And uh, finally, the scalability. We want uh, speed. We want uh, we want smooth uh, a smooth uh, store. So that basically, when our clients are coming to uh, build e-commerce stores, or rather, come to visit our e-commerce stores, they, they, you don't want uh, hitches when uh, they're coming to buy stuff. I mean, who's ever transacted with a store that? Uh, you 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 even and you end up being even frustrated by even even visiting that website. Who's ever actually tried that and mentioned that store? <laughs> it's okay. Uh, no red tape here. So, anyone who's ever transacted with a store that actually has annoyed them in terms of even payment, because you're like, why should I use this store? And it it's so slow. It has it has. Uh, deducted money from my credit or debit card or my, even my impressor and at the end of the day you're, you're not even getting the service yeah at the end of the day w uh, whatever e-commerce platform that you choose to build your website should uh, encompass this and more and you know you want to be able to bring back your customers yeah and in my in my view, uh, after using a couple of uh, other <coughs> e-commerce platforms to build uh, my e-commerce stores, trust you me, uh, WooCommerce has served me. Uh, been building websites with uh, e-commerce stores for the last three years, and it's been a really awesome experience. So, um, so then why 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 WooCommerce? Why? Why? Anyone? Give me a rough idea. Why? Uh, the guys who've developed with e-commerce, why, why, why choose? I mean, there's Shopify. You can pay $29 a month for all it's worth. Most, m most of the e-commerce platforms that are out there, especially like, um, I don't know, is it Jumia or something? Sorry if you work for Jumia. <laughs> uh, I think it's eight working days if I'm not wrong. Yeah, that's, what, that's why most of the products take long to get to you because their payment does not uh, come until eight days later and they have to deliver uh, the money first to the, to the shop owner so that you can have your products, yeah? Uh, another point, so why WooCommerce, why? So one of the reasons why I would use WooCommerce and why I would uh, really encourage you guys to use WooCommerce is that it's a system you can really trust, to be very honest. Uh, it's built on WordPress. WordPress uh, powers almost, that number should actually change. 
it's supposed to be 28%, 28 to 32% of the web currently. Yeah? I mean, we have almost three, three in fact, more than three million websites right now on, uh, built on WordPress. More than. And it's regularly audited by uh, Sukuri, the company uh, that's entrusted with uh, security. So basically, when you're using WooCommerce, you're in good hands at the end of the day. And another thing is, when it comes to content, you're able to seamlessly integrate, like he said. Uh, there's someone who talks about integrations, yeah? There's someone, yeah? Sorry. Uh, there's someone who talks about integrations. So you're able to integrate your uh, stuff on, uh, on your e-commerce store without having to, you know, uh, place this thing here, place this thing there. You know, you can, you, you can all put them in one place without having to um, come up with uh, a solution that's just everywhere. Yeah. Uh, another th another reason why uh, WooCommerce is um, is beneficial to all of us is that WooCommerce is uh, is kept clean, so that basically you can be able to add the options as you want. It's also made to work along your favorite WordPress plugins. Yeah. Um, so basically, you can keep the features that you already love. I mean. Many people want, uh, I, I uh, who's in the WordPress community group, the WhatsApp group? You, uh, and I've had so many people asking about uh, this, um, what's this thing called? The, there's there's a builder, there, there are a couple of builders, but there's one builder that keeps on popping up uh, about the WP Bakery builder. And guess what? You can actually use WP Bakery within your WooCommerce store. You, in fact, actually, you will actually build with it. So you see, you can still have your plugins, uh, and you also you're also going to still have your uh, WooCommerce website all in one. Yeah. Another reason why is that you can sell literally anything without having to be judged. The, um, you can sell physically, you can sell digital downloads, subscriptions, content, and even appointments. I mean, like everybody here has purchased a uh, WordPress ticket, yeah? A WordCamp ticket. That's a WooCommerce, that's WooCommerce, done. <laughs> so uh, you can sell literally anything. You're not limited to uh, just, you know, I just want to sell shoes. No, and uh, and that's uh, that's just gonna be it. Yeah, I want to sell shoes, and that's basically it. You can sell literally anything with WooCommerce, and then another thing is that uh, there are no limits. There are no limits. It's completely open source, and you can modify as much as you want. I mean, who's in Shopify here? Sorry if uh, you're a Shopify fan, but this is a WordPress, strictly WordPress uh, <laughs> conference. So who's used Shopify here? You've used Shopify. Have you noticed how it has so many limitations? Yeah? You, you, you basically work with what you're given. And here's WooCommerce telling you, like, I'm here. Modify me the way you want. Plain and simple. Yeah? Yeah. So, again, developers, this thing uh, is built on WordPress. So, basically, you can work with um, this stuff that is here for you. Uh, you can work, uh, you, the CLI, uh, you can use it to man manage your stores. You can use every single thing that you've been developing with without having to worry about a single thing. Like, he, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know if you're a developer, Hassan. 
I don't know if you're a developer or not. You are a developer. And you've realized also, uh, uh, sorry, I just want to specify on Shopify because personally, uh, before I got into WooCommerce, I was convinced that uh, Shopify, because I wanted to get into this drop shipping business once. Huh? And I was told Shopify, Shopify, Shopify is the, is the best option. And given that I've been a developer for the last six or so years, I wanted to have a platform where I can be able to modify whatever I have. And then here comes Shopify. You can't. Do you agree? Yes. yes. So <coughs> you can modify with everything that uh, you can modify, literally. And then the good thing with, uh, for developers, that's it, that is, it's uh, fully open source and it's managed on GitHub. So you'll notice even tomorrow, uh, I've ha I know you've had me talk about the, uh, the Contributors Day that's happening tomorrow. Um, we have WooCommerce with uh, Mauko. And you'll notice that WooCommerce is something that, I mean, WordPress is not perfect. Uh, it started as a blogging platform, and look, now we have a CMS. And we can actually make it even better with uh, all the, co I mean, like everybody has an idea in this room, right? We're, s we're, we're going to 60, I mean, we're going to 60 people in this room right now. I mean, if we, ca if we come and say that uh, 60 people are actually going to work on WooCommerce right now, do you, you're not telling me that uh, we're going to have something new? Uh, within WooCommerce right now. True? Yeah? So you can literally um, come up with a system where it, it's basically something you can actually contribute to and col collaborate. Basically, you, you're in charge of the future of e-commerce with WooCommerce. It's yours. It's not, it's not theirs. It's yours to work with, yeah? And then uh, some of the tools that you already know, uh, the Ajax, uh, the endpoints, uh, webhooks, you have everything uh, in your hands, basically. So I don't, I don't really find a reason why uh, you would actually prefer another store. And here, here you are. You have a system where you can actually work with all that you have, yeah? And then the good thing is that it also uh, comes with the REST API. So yeah, so you can uh, literally use the REST API to manage uh, a a anything from uh, products to orders to shipment to literally everything, yeah? I find that with WooCommerce, you can actually have this idea in your head today, and you'll actually, you know, can I put it as a thinking pen, if I'm allowed to? It gives you this thinking pen kind of idea that today I want a shop that looks like this. You can actually develop a theme that, comes, uh, that actually fits your description in a way that you can still be able to transact with it. So it gives you this uh, flexibility to be creative. Uh, other than being creative, uh, we all know of, um, is it Storefront? Yeah? Storefront. Storefront has so many themes, uh, child themes, yeah? Has so many child themes that we can use to be able to uh, come up with a, uh, beautiful stores. I mean, there's that. There's also so many free and uh, paid uh, themes on the WordPress um, on the WordPress core on the WordPress uh, re repo repository, and you know you can also build yours. You can also buy if you want. There are also offshore sellers, but it's there, there's so many that I can't even mention. And you know you can always use all of them to be able to modify what you have. 
uh, again, I will still point out this fact <coughs> that it is literally, you're not restricted to anything when it comes to WooCommerce. You can edit every, every single part of your website the way you want, how you want it. If you say, I want the logo <coughs> to be here, it will be there. The, that's, the, that's the literally the beauty, the beauty about WooCommerce. And if you want it to basically stand out, you will have to be this creative guy who, ca who, who will be able to come up with a solution that at the end of the day, it's mo uh, it not only uh, brings your uh, happiness to you, as because uh, uh, I know there are some people here who are OCD, sorry, but <laughs> uh, you you say like like okay le le let me let me put this into context like you say I want uh, the Instagram shop because li like right now you can actually integrate an Instagram shop to WooCommerce. Anyone who has ever tried that? Personally, I have. I'm actually working on a shop right now that has uh, direct links to uh, Instagram, an Instagram shop. It's a, it's a cosmetic store for a client of mine. Um, so yeah, um, you're basically not restricted to anything, yeah? And then, the last thing on that point is that you can embed products, you can embed, uh, you, you can add checkout pages. You can literally add anything the way you want it and how you want it, yeah? Uh, you can use short codes, you can use uh, product, uh, products to blog posts. Someone, someone in Mombasa was actually asking me, so I have uh, a WooCommerce website, but I can't integrate a blog to it. Oh, sorry, no, I have a Shopify store. My, my apologies. I have a Shopify store, but it's just, boom, just a shop. WooCommerce does not give you uh, this uh, closed uh, uh, space that you're only going to build a shop within that website. Your, you can build literally your whole website and include WooCommerce in it, yeah? You can create landing pages, go straight to checkout, everything, yeah? Uh, so this and many more, other features that uh, come uh, with WooCommerce that make it distinct, that it has a modern and clean interface. Another thing that it has an improved experience for store owners, uh, you can integrate your content uh, via WordPress. Uh, you can have pre-installed payment gateways. Uh, Mauko is next. He'll be speaking about um, WooCommerce and M-Pesa. Finally, a solution has been found. And I know so many people have been asking about it. So even tomorrow, as you're coming in for Contributors Day, who's coming, by the way? <coughs> who's who, who's going to be there tomorrow? Come on, guys. I, w I want to see everybody in this room tomorrow. G can, I, can I see everybody in this room tomorrow, tomorrow at uh, Nairobi Garage? Yeah? Yeah? Good stuff. Yeah. So you'll get to learn more about uh, the integration with uh, WooCommerce and M-Pesa. And then again, you can also integrate PayPal. Uh, you can integrate literally anything uh, in terms of uh, payment gateways. Uh, other things that uh, come with WooCommerce, uh, you have total control over the process of checkout. You can set default uh, currency. Yes, including uh, the Kenya shilling, even Tanzanians if you're here, <laughs> as much as uh, I'd recommend you just use the dollar. <laughs> uh, you can always uh, use the, the uh, geolocation support. You can add taxes. You can add how you want the cut to behave uh, during uh, addition, checkout. If you want people to just add 
And now, uh, I mean, there's, um, there's a feature in the uh, WooCommerce that's called variable products. In variable products, you can be able to uh, allow the customer to select the number of products that they want in, in num uh, like say, I want two chairs. You don't have to click twice to get two chairs. You can click that same uh, order and then during the checkout process, you say, I want two, yeah? So that's, that's, the, that's the one thing that comes uh, with WooCommerce. And you can reduce page loading, manage products, add the product types that you want. <sighs> I mean, if I was to literally sit in this room and actually explain what WooCommerce can do for you guys and why you really need it to develop your e-commerce websites, there's just so much, yeah? So at the end of the day, what are we solving when it comes to WooCommerce? Uh, what are we aiming to solve uh, given that, you know, we have this, um, we have this solution that's here for us. We have, it, it literally comes and says, I have an answer to all your problems. Remember the problems that we talked about earlier? Uh, about uh, scalability and all that stuff? This is a solution that comes and says, by the way, here, I have a solution for you guys. Yeah? So it's scalable. You can enjoy your, uh, your online presence. Uh, companies that uh, run into scaling issues with the platform of choice powered by WordPress and with savvy developers behind the project, WooCommerce is able to scale as you rapidly enjoy the business. Allow me to put one fact here. And um, <coughs> Hassan, you'll, you'll bear me witness. You, you'll bear me witness. Uh, when it comes to using Shopify, Shopify will bill you, what, is it, is it four five hundred dollars a year? Yeah? Uh, yeah, and at the end of the day, you want to build a store that you'll be able to learn, yeah, uh, your mistakes within the process, yeah. And why why should I pay four to five hundred dollars a year? And you know, I'm, uh, I I want to change it maybe later in the year, yeah. This is the exclusive of the theme, by the way, that you're going to choose. Huh? Four, five hundred dollars, and it, the, this is exclusive. And here's WooCommerce telling you, by the way, this whole thing is free. Just buy the theme, buy the server, buy the domain. Go ahead, do your thing. Yeah, uh, it's customizable. Your store can operate literally anywhere in the world. You can put uh, y your shipping rates the way you want. And you can literally customize it the way you basically want. Huh? The only disadvantage is that uh, you'll, you'll only learn. You, the, the learning curve might be a bit uh, hard. But you see, the good thing is that there are so many resources out there that you can be able to use to, uh, you can be able to uh, use to learn. And really, if you looking for an e-commerce solution that uh, you want to have full control, then really, in my honest view, WooCommerce is uh, the best option for you.